going to happen is water molecules will surround this and the reaction actually sucks in energy. So we're going to see a nice little uh, temperature decrease here. So as I tap this in and it's stirring, we're going to see the temperature decrease. So on a good day, it'll drop down to about zero degrees C. So it looks like we've got seven and it's continuing to drop. The driving force for this reaction is the dissolving. The uh, ammonium and nitrate ions are being surrounded by water and it's going to a state of more disorder, as we say, and it's making the reaction happen. But in the process, think of it as like an energy vortex. Heat from the outside, heat from the water are sucked in to uh, make the reaction proceed. Oh, and very good, it keeps dropping at five. There aren't too many of these reactions, so this is rather novel. I also give it the nickname of the cold pack reaction because these first aid cold packs, these little plastic bags with an inside bag are available at pharmacies. And what will happen is if somebody bumps themselves like in the playground, somebody might come running over with one of these cold packs. What they do is snap it and it's mixing the water on the inside with the ammonium nitrate and it's spontaneously going cold as demonstrated. Another um, little process loaded up here is just a simple combustion. I have some methanol, which is a one carbon alcohol and I'm gonna spray some on the counter and just go ahead and light it on fire. And uh, flames are given off, a sign that we have heat. And I'll give personal testimony, it's warm. We have yellow, orange, blue flames here. It's combusting, heat's given off. That energy that's given off as heat came from chemical energy to begin with. Bonds are being broken, which costs energy, but then new bonds are being made and energy is being released. Let me go ahead and show you the processes up here on the board. The uh, left side, is the first reaction and that is the cold pack reaction. The ammonium nitrate is a solid and it's mixed with water and becomes ammonium nitrate aqueous. So these are two separate ions. NH4 plus is floating around, NO3 minus is floating around in the water. And uh, at the beginning here, call it a baseline or the before enthalpy or heat, this is done at constant pressure, um, is it, around here and what's happening is it's sucking heat in from the environment, from the water and the environment. Say, my love, you know we really could have had it all.